Hello. So today I'm going to be doing a, another live solve of a puzzle. This one is called The Sky is Blue, Gerard by, and I'm going to butcher this name, but Listes, Lis, Listus. I'm sorry about that. He also goes by Mike November on Discord, so I'm not sure which name he prefers, but on the, on the puzzle he put Listus, so that's what I'm going to put. Um, and so this puzzle has some interesting rules, so I'll make sure to go over them carefully. First of all, we do have normal Sudoku rules. We also have this diagonal from the bottom left to the top right. And we have to have the digits 1 to 9 exactly once on, on that diagonal. So it's another group, like a row, column, or box. Additionally, we have these less than signs or greater than signs. And what those mean is exactly what you'd expect, where this cell would have to be greater than this cell. And this cell has to be greater than that cell. And then we have these lines, and the lines serve a dual purpose. First of all, they're palindromes. So say across this palindrome, um, if this were one, then this would also have to be one. And if this were two, this also has to be two. And additionally on the palindromes, they act as thermos towards the center. So just to make sure I get this right, um, it, it means that the, the center value has to be the largest, and then as you work your way out from the center of the palindrome, um, you have to be shrinking. Or another way to put it is from, from one end of the palindrome, you're always growing. So this could be like one, two, three, four, five. And then, of course, the palindrome finishes as five, four, three, two, one. And so these ones are obviously equal, but also, say, we couldn't do three, two, um, like this, because we're going 1, 3, and then we're going down back to 2, and that's not allowed. All right, and so those are the rules. Um, definitely try to remember the thermometer part of the palindromes, because fpuzzles, which is what uh, is going to be the link below, will be at fpuzzles. It will not enforce the thermometer part of that. Um, I also don't think it's going to enforce the greater than. We can check that right now. No, it does not. So it does not enforce this greater than sign either. So you need to make sure to, to enforce those yourself. And other than that, um, definitely recommend trying to solve the puzzle first yourself. Um, and you can always come back and reference my video if you get stuck. Um, but it's also perfectly fine if you just want to watch my video and watch me try to solve it. So again, the link is below if you want to try it, and I'm going to attempt it right now. So I was looking, at, while I was describing it, I was seeing how big this particular palindrome is. So I thought I'd th figure I might as well start there. Um, so we saw that it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the, if this were 9, it would be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So there's still quite a bit of degrees of freedom here, but I'm going to just fill in the possibilities, because there's really not much else to look at here. Um, I guess one thing we can see already is that this has to be less than this cell, and this cell has to be less than this cell and that cell, because this is a thermo. So if this were 9, that would be 8 and 7, and 7 then has to be greater than this one. So we can actually get rid of 7, 8, and 9 from here. Um, i better get rid of these just in case um, for now. So we actually remove three degrees of freedom from, oh, I don't know what I just did there. Um, so that this would be uh, four, five. Let me just get rid of that. So this is three, three, four, two, three, one, two. And then of course we have the identical palindrome on the other side. Okay, and now I'll look at this one here because this is at least five, which means this is at least six. So I believe that is two degrees of freedom on this one as well. Um, yeah. So we can fill that. Okay, so um, here, this is greater than this one. That's, that's kind of an interesting relationship. Let's figure out what that means. So it means that this is at most seven. And where is the equivalent? Just to make sure I do this right. Yeah, okay, so the equivalent here is here. So these are at, sorry, at most seven. That's less useful. Well, okay, so 
One of these two is 7, though. Because this is either 6, 7, 8. Oh, no. Okay, we could do 6, 8, 9, and then we don't have a 7. Okay, never mind. Um, spoke too soon on that one. Yeah, this could be 6, 8, 9. So this is 7 or lower, but this goes 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so let's just fill that out on the rest of the palindrome as well. Okay, so what's next? We got these two palindromes that are related. I'm not sure how much we're going to get from that. Let me just take a quick look. So this is the center of this one. So this is greater than this, but this is the start of a palindrome. So that, that, I don't think that's going to be helpful yet. This isn't helpful. This palindrome. Okay, sorry, just looking for what's the next uh, obvious step here. Okay. This diagonal is interesting. I'm not quite sure what it means at this point, though. Don't have anything placed on it except this 8-9. This is a short palindrome. But we already knew that these two couldn't be the same. Uh, sorry about this. Just looking, looking for what to do. So I guess the only thing to do is just fill more, fill more of these palindromes, because I really don't see... Maybe there is something, I'm just not seeing it, but I'm not seeing any real interactions. I guess the other thing we could sort of consider, and I don't know if this is going to do anything, but ones are either in a blank square or at the, the end of a um, palindrome. They can't be in the middle of a palindrome. So if there's a box that's mostly palindrome middles. That does restrict where one can go. Um, I'm not really seeing much in the way of that, though. Like in this box, it's lim ones are limited here. What about the center box? So ones these are these both are tips. So this is not a tip here, 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 here. Yeah. So ones have to be here or here. Does that tell me anything? If this were a one, then this would be a one. And that would force this to be two, three, four. So that would that would fill this palindrome. If this were a one, this would be a one. That wouldn't do anything. This for one, this couldn't be a one. All right, what about rows or columns? That one was almost interesting, but not. You like this box, like where do twos go on this? Twos have to be here as well. And threes. So one, ones, twos, and threes have to go in this 
2 by 2 area. Um, 4 could be here. Because that could be 4, 3, 2, 1. Would that work? 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, that does work. I'm just going to fill that just to check, just so I can see what that would do. So that would force that would force the threes up here. The ones are already forced up here, and that will remove the twos from here. So twos would be here, and ones and threes would be here. So the two would have to go with the one, obviously, because we couldn't have three then two. And then one of five, six, seven, eight, or nine, but it doesn't seem like we're restricted. Well, this four would make this three, which does force two, one, and on the palindrome, three, two, one. Going a bit far on this, I was kind of hoping to see some kind of, oh, wait, okay. So that, that prevents any kind of three from being in this box, because these can't be three. And then this three and, and th this three and this three prevent threes from being in this box. So just to kind of go over that again, if this is four, three, two, one, so if these are four, then that four then sees this three, and that removes any possibility for three in this box. So, with that said, these aren't four. I know it's not much, but... Well, if they aren't four, then this has to be one, two, three, four. So five, six, seven. So now we have a five, six, seven triple in this box. So this has to be eight which forces these, this to be 9 and 8. 8 is greater than 5, 6, or 7. This could still be 6, as far as I can tell. What about the 1, 2, 3, 4? Well, we can't have 4s here, because then we'd have nothing to be bigger on the next one. We can't have 1s here. We already kind of knew that, but just good to point out. Um, that actually does put 4 in one of these two, so this can't be 4, which means this can't be 4. Um, we could still have 3, 4, and then 1, 2, though. Well, this can't be 3, 4, because then there would be nothing here. Nothing to put here. So this can't be 3, 4. What does that mean? It means this can't be 1, 2. I don't really see like anything to gain from that right now. I do see that this is a 1, 2, oops. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, quadruple in the row, though. So this can't be 3 or 4, which equivalent is this one, which can't be, oop. I hit the wrong buttons there. This can't be 3, 4. This can't be 3, 4. So this is minimum 5, which means these can't be 5 anymore. So they're 6, 7. This can still be 2 through 5. This is a 6, 7 pair here. That puts a 5 here. That's, that's great. That, that does this entire palindrome. 5 is less than 6 or 7. 8 is greater than 6 or 7. Good so far. Um, so far we just have the 9 on the diagonal. Does that tell us anything? Well, 9 has to be in the... 9 can't be uh, except in the middle of a palindrome. So now these can't be 9. It's not enough. I mean, I might as well mark that, but it's really not useful. All right, so... 
Makes me wonder if I went back and looked if this was the only place a nine could go. Uh, it's quite no, uh, yeah, it's quite possible that this was the only place a nine could go. Oh well, too late now. So that that's a one-two pair because we placed this three. So this is three four. Oops. So this is no longer a two. Um, this is no longer a three either because there's a three in this row. So that's four five. This two sees this, so that's not a two. And this three four sees here, so th these are ones. Of course, placing a one at, at the start of a thermo is the most useless of places to put a one, but it's still nice to have. Here, that, that limits ones to here or here. And so that means in this column, one is either here or here. And in this column, one is here, here, or here. Sorry, or here. One in this box is here. So, yeah, that puts a one here. So, this one and then this pointing pair ones eliminate those. And then on, a, on the thermo, or on the yeah, on the thermo we can't put a, a one anywhere except at the at one of the ends. And so that that's a, a one on the other end as well. Um because it's a palindrome. Still not too helpful, but we may be able to can we finish the ones? Yes. So that puts two, one, and then that puts a one here. That two puts a two here. I have to remember the palindrome. Did I do any other palindrome work? Doesn't look like it. Well, this 3, 4 means this is 3, 4. Okay, what about 9 in this box? Yeah, 9 can't be here. So 9 is here or here. All right, um, and then in here, 9 can't be here. So unfortunately, it's limited to these three. I apologize if you hear something in the background. All right, so we have a six, seven pair here. So what's left is uh, we have one, two, we need three, four, uh, five, I believe. Is there anything limiting that? Not that I see. Twos, this can't be two. So two is limited to here or here. Oh, I suppose I could have seen that from just the place twos. Still that good to know. Um, okay, I have a one and two placed on my diagonal now. Does that do anything useful? I get the feeling the diagonal is not going to come in until later. I just, I just get that. that feeling. But we'll see. All right. Um, should I look at some of these other palindromes, perhaps? This is actually, this has to be four or higher. Oh, it can't even be four because of the box. So this is five or higher. But I mean, it's just too long. Um, so this can be five, six, seven, or nine. Uh, but it can't be nine. So it's five, six, or seven. And so then this one, oh, this can't be eight though. So this can't be seven. So this is six or seven. So let me just mark that. But I just saw that that makes a six, seven pair in this row. So what's left is one, two, three. This can't be one. And this can't be three, because then there'd be nothing for this cell. So this is, oh, so I was going to say this is one or two, but there's a one in the box. So this is actually two, and that's a three. That places all those. This is higher than 
three and it can't be four and it can't be six or seven. So it's five, eight, or nine. Um, three on the diagonal can't go here anymore because there's one in the box. So three is going to be in one of those three. That's still not enough to mark or to, to really do anything with. Um, oh, this two places a two here. So these are also five, eight, nine. That makes a triple in the box. That's not eight. So the remaining triple in the box is four, six, seven. Uh, not seeing anything. Yeah, nothing's nothing's affecting those four, six, sevens. I do have a six, seven here, but no. Um, so okay, so this is this is now greater than five or six. So this is six, seven, eight, or nine. Unfortunately, oh, it's not. It's not nine though. Well, oh no, it can be. So this is this is six, seven, eight, or nine as well. Wait, how, how does this palindrome work? Oh, okay, okay. So that's not nine, and then this is six, seven, or eight. Almost have a triple here. If this weren't an eight. I don't see any way to eliminate the 8 from that, so... I already knew about that triple. Okay, what about this palindrome? I haven't done anything with it yet. Can't start with a 1. So it can be 2. Can't be 3. Well, let's see. If, the, if it were 2, this would be 3. And then this can't be four or five, so that would be. And then wait, hold on. This end can't be a two either. So they can't be one or two. Can they be three? No, they can't be three. So we're we starting with four then. Looks like it. Four is our minimum. So these two then can't be five, but they can be six. And then these two can be seven, eight, or nine. It looks like. Yeah. So then if we work our way back, this 9, um, 8, 7, like that. So this is 6, 7, 8. Nothing preventing that. I do have another 6, 7, 8 in the column. Oh, I just noticed this. Sorry. This is a 3, 4, 4. I'm right in the middle of this but <laughs> I just saw it. Okay, I'll, I'll come back to that in a second. So let's just finish this. So these fours can be five, six, four, five, six, seven. Anything preventing that? Well, now there's no four in this box, so these can't be four. So it's five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Okay, um, so I placed this three, and that placed a four here, so that's not a four. So we have a 3, 5, and a 6, 7 now. Um, this has to be larger than 4, so it can be 5 or higher, obviously. I don't see anything restricting that. Okay, but where does 3 go in this row then? Can't be here, can't be here because of this 3. Can't be here because it has to be bigger than 4. Can't be on these two, and it can't be here because of this three. So three has to go here. So that place is a five. Um, does that really not get me anything? Okay. Um, nine has to be in one of these two. And in general, this is six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, nothing to really eliminate from there. So nine's not here. So 9 is one of these two. Okay, where does 9 go? I guess 9 can go in any of these in this row. 
Can't repeat my trick. <laughs> I suspect this greater than sign is just gonna... Well, it keeps this from being 9. Is that useful? Not yet. So, so these can't be 9. But there's no other limitations on 9 at the moment. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, what else is there to look at? Is there anything else on this palindrome that's interesting? We're, we have 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so this whole column is 6, 7, 8, 9. That would be why I was seeing that. Uh, and then this has to be 5 or higher. So where's 4? Four is in one of these two. Yeah. But I don't I don't think I can disambiguate that yet. Okay, what about this palindrome? Is there anything that I missed that's seeing this palindrome? Would anything prevent this from being five, six, seven? Not that I'm seeing. If this were... So, so these two are missing what? So it's, it's a 9 plus whatever is missing from 4, 5, 6, 7 here. If the 4 were missing, then that would have to go here. I would place a 4 here and a 4 here. I don't really see anything wrong with that. Okay, well, maybe this diagonal is actually going to come into play now. 1, 2, 3, and 9. So where does 8 go? We've managed to prevent 8 from being on this. How does that work? Ah, because of this triple. So 8's in one of these two. So 8's not on this part of the diagonal. 8's not here. So 8 has to be in one of these two. Does that help? Um, well, if 8's in one of these two, then 8 can't be here or here, which means 8 can't be here or here. So now we have a 6, 7, 9, ugh, almost. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4. These can be four. This can't be four, but this can be four. Fives can go anywhere here. Sixes can go... Well, is a six required on this? I can do five, seven, nine, so I don't need a six. Seven required? Five, six, nine is possible. Okay. What about nine? Nine can be here on the dag. Oh, no, actually, sorry. Uh, took me a while to find that. <laughs> this nine sees this. So that's a five. So that's an eight, nine pair. Does that get me anything? Oh, fives are looking into here. So five is one of these two. Um, if this were 5, then these two are 6, and these two are 7, making these two 6. This is a 1, just looking at that row. Sorry for missing some obvious stuff. That always happens when I live solve. Um, can this be 4? Yeah, so 4 in this row is limited to these two. So what can this one be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine.
four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Just nothing seeing that. Okay. Okay, what am I missing here? Okay, well if these cap out at these can't be eight anymore, so these can't be seven. Does that help? That's a five six pair. So these can't this can't be five six, that can't be six. And this can't be five. Okay, so this is four, and that's four. This is no longer four. Four can't be here or here. So four is down here somewhere. Could still be on the diagonal. Oh, but this can't be four anymore. That places this four. And then on the diagonal, this has to be four. What did that take? That took an eight. So this is eight on the diagonal. So now we just have the six, seven pair left on the diagonal. And then What did I place? An eight, a four. Oh, that felt like so much. But I'm still, this puzzle's still hanging in there. Pretty much use the diagonal at this point because I could use the box logic instead. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, if this ends up being six, I still can use this greater than. I haven't used this greater than at all. Which really, at the moment, just tells me that this can't be 9. This, sorry, this, this can't be 9. But reversing that. Um, but it can be 5, 6, 7, 8, and then this is 6, 7, 8, 9. Eight's not here, Eight's not here, Eight's not here. So one of them is 8. If this one's 8, that's forced to be 9. That would disambiguate that. Okay, well if 8's are locked to these two... Yeah, okay, duh. We have an 8 here. So that's not useful. What about this column? Yes, okay, we have a 5 in the column now. So this, these are 6's, these are 7's. And then the rest of the column is 2, 3, and 9. This can't be 2 or 3. So oops. this can't be 2 or 3. So that leaves just 9. That places are 9 and 5. These can't be 9. That's a 2, 3 pair, which is not resolved. That places the 9 here. It's the only place for a 9 in the box now. These two are going to be a pair. That'll definitely do something. Uh, it's a 5, 8 pair. So now this can't be 5. So this is 6, 7, 7, 6. That removes this as 6. That places this 5. All right, we're definitely getting there now. This is no longer 6. So this is the only 6 in the column. That places the equivalent 6 over here. That means these both are 5, because they have to be less than 6. 7, 8, 9 in the box means this is whatever's left. This is 2. This is 3 and 2. Five and six are placed. So this is seven or eight, and this is eight or nine. That's a seven, eight, nine in the row, meaning this is three. And then this is seven or nine, but it can't be seven. So this is nine, seven, seven, eight, nine, um, five. And then in this box, we need seven. This is an eight, nine pair. Anything? I have this corner marked 9 here. 
Ah, uh, these are these are corner arc mark nine. So this is eight nine. And then that seven, he's here, so that's eight. That forces a nine here, a nine here. Um this is not an eight. This is still not resolved. Oh, it must be. Okay. This is six, seven, six. Six, seven. Oh, this column we need a four, looks like. So then in, for the box we need a three, eight, five, and then nine and eight. All right, so that is how you solve the sky is blue by, again, I, I, pr I apologize about the name pronunciation. I, I want to say it's a Liz Tez or Liz Tez. Um, yeah, that was a, that was a fun puzzle. Um, I think mostly what I missed was just scanning, and there was a there was an interesting break in there. So I definitely liked the interaction between the uh, the thermo palindrome is not something I've seen combined before, and that was pretty interesting. And then combining that with these inequalities made it so that the palindromes were kind of linked in an interesting way. So yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed solving it, and please uh, if you want to. Make sure you see any more videos that I post. It's helpful to subscribe, um, especially because I'm not really holding much of a schedule at the moment. So if you want to know when something new is posted, subscribing is just the best way to know that. And then otherwise, you can check out some of my other videos. I'll, I'll put some boxes on the screen somewhere so you can uh, check those out as well. And other than that, until next time, thanks for watching.